Hello there. Welcome to Fair and Forge Knifeworks. This is Chris here, and today I wanted to do a, another video uh, showing the effect that certain things have on titanium and the colors that you get as you anodize them. This particular video, I want to show you the effect that uh, certain pre prep chemicals like multi etch and Winx rust remover have on pieces. So, to demonstrate that, I have this piece was soaked in multi etch for about one minute. This peach was piece, not peach, was soaked in Winx rust remover for about 15 seconds, and this one is just plain. So we're gonna progress these up through the spectrum and show you how things change and look a little different. All right, we got bronze. So there's the multi etch bronze. There's the Winx bronze. Uh, forgive the sound of freedom in the background. The jets have been flying all day today. And there's the regular bronze. All right, so right now everything, you know, multi-etch and standard look pretty similar. All right, the wink's a little bit different. Let's keep going. Here's blue. Let's see. The Winx is always going to look a little different because it's acid, so it is actually etching the surface here. So our multi-etch and our regular really not very much different. Let's go up to green. And now we're starting to get some fun effects. So here's the multi-etch, nice and kind of green and bronze. Here is the Winx, a little more matte. Right, similar colors, and then we have the non etched piece. Right, in this, it looks gray in the video, but it's really, really light blue. Uh, so, we're gonna keep pushing these up in voltage. This was all, these are all done at 55 volts. So, as we continue to go up higher, we're gonna start to see a big difference between our control uh, plain satin finish and then our two prepped pieces. Let's keep it going. Here we are up at about 75 volts. This is a, the ultraviolet color. And look at the difference that we have going on here. So here's the multi etch piece, beautiful purple. And this is the Winx piece. Still a nice vibrant color and not quite as uh, shiny and reflective. Right? And then here is our plain one. It's got a Honestly, it looks kind of like pee pee. Um, not real good looking. So we'll keep going up to uh, Cerulean and see the difference across them there. This is about, is 85 volts. This is a great color. Uh, this is kind of a, a blurple. Catch that. The Winx, you can see it's starting to look a little mottled and strange. I don't really like using Winx that much because it, it makes weird blotches on the surface. Uh, and here we have the plain one. It's kind of a bronzy purplish at 85 volts. So you can see there's a big difference starting to happen. Let's bump it up even more. Check this out. This is a little above 90. The multi-etch is, you know, in my opinion, the best looking color. Right, the, you can see the uh, the Winx and the Multi Edge are very similar in their color, but this the Winx does affect the surface finish a little more, so it presents a slightly different color. And then the non-treated piece is, I, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, so let, we're gonna max out the machine up into like a, a nice green, and we'll see how things go. And this is everything maxed out. So here's the multi-etch, looking nice, nice green. Uh, the Winx, it's also a nice color, a little bit lighter. And I get, pardon the neighbors, and I get some weird blotches. And the untreated piece, see if you can see that, how it's got these almost like speckles in there. Uh, I don't know exactly why this is happening, but so from a distance, it looks kind of gray, but then you see there's some strange colors in there. 
Uh, and here's a little fun part. So right there, I don't know which chemical I spilled on this one, but you can see with just that little bit of chemical treatment, you get much brighter color. So I guess the main point of this video is just to show you guys uh, what different pre-treatments will do to the color of titanium and how it differs from not treating. So I hope this goes that Hope this was fun and informational for you guys. Uh, just like with the last video, I don't know exactly what's going on here. I have theories, but uh, I, I don't know for sure what's happening. I just know that it is happening and that we can use the different effects to create different colors and uh, you know be a little more creative on knife handle skills. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you everybody for watching and uh, have a great week, weekend, day, night, evening, whatever you're doing.